All right, so if you're located in Bangkok, uh, there is a Google Hack Fair coming up on the 19th of December. And so if you're a geek, a nerd, a programmer, anybody who likes to hack anything, uh, this is the event you need to check out. So there's a forum for participants, so you can go there as a participant or an exhibitor. And so I'm gonna post a link to these in the description below. Please check them out, click on them, and uh, I hope to see you guys there. Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the feature branch in Gitflow and pushing your code up into GitHub. So there's a few setup steps that we need to do once you sign up for your GitHub account, but it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that and uh, we're gonna get right into it. All right, so let's first take a look. Uh, over here we have uh, the develop branch uh, for my Git workflow directory. And if I take a look at Git branch, you'll see that I have the develop and master branch. This is carry on over from the previous episode. Uh, and over here in the readme file, we have just these four lines. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new feature branch. So let's start by doing that. Git flow feature start a new feature. So you can name your feature branch, whatever you want. And as you can see here, what it's going to do is create a new branch and prefix it with the word feature. So why do we need to have feature branches? Well, the easiest way to think about it is, you know, as I mentioned in the previous episode, we have the staging server and then we have the production server. Now on the staging server, you have what, um, you know, is that considered sort of stable? Like it's something that, um, you know, the different developers have kind of like put together uh, their features and their contributions into the develop branch. So now if you're starting up a new uh, feature, it's best to kind of like isolate that uh, so that everybody else, you know, if you break something in your feature, uh, something which was supposedly working before, uh, you can, you know, you can have time to sort all that out in your working uh, feature branch. And the develop branch will stay, you know, consistent for other developers who create other feature branches. All right, so with that explanation out of the way, uh, here we are in the feature branch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file over here and I'm gonna call it uh, new feature.md. And here I'm gonna write, so you would do your development and um, you know, like write whatever you want, uh, whatever code you want in the new feature. And then what you're gonna do is git status. And it's gonna tell you that, uh, you know, you need to add this new file. So git add, git commit, added new feature, and we're good. So now in, uh, you know, in our new feature.md, we have the new feature and it's all in our new branch. Uh, it doesn't interfere with our developed branch at all. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is if I get check out into the developed branch, you'll see that we don't actually have the new feature anymore. Like this is just like cache in my text editor, but it's actually not there anymore. So if I don't save this, you'll just see that we have the readme.md which is already in the develop branch. So I'm gonna check out, back into the, the feature branch. And I'll get my new feature uh, back, which is cool. All right, so now we have the new feature. That's pretty simple. And you, you know, there's nothing much to it. You just create a new feature branch. But then we're gonna take this a little bit further. What we can do next is we can actually publish this feature branch. We're gonna actually publish a whole repository into GitHub and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing is before uh, we can actually uh, push code into GitHub. Now I'm not gonna show you how to sign up for GitHub. The sign up process is actually pretty straightforward. You sign up, you put your email in, you verify your email and you're good. But before you can actually push any content into GitHub, uh, you will need to set up what we call the public key. Now to do that, uh, there's a command. Uh, if you've never done this before, um, this is for you. But if you know what you're doing, you don't need to do this. So SSH key gen, TRSA, and then C, and then you put your email. So what this is going to do is it's going to um, create a, what we call a key pair 
and it's going to connect your computer uh, to GitHub so that uh, you, you're going to put the public key. It's going to generate two keys, the public key and the private key. The public key, you can give it to anybody because it's just like you have a key, right? Um, the, pub, the private key is like the, the actual key and the public key is kind of like the keyhole, if you will. And so uh, your key, your private key, you don't want to show that to anybody. And uh, I'll show you. I'm not going to hit enter here because I already have, um, you know, my stuff generated. So I'm going to show you what it is. So I'm going to CD into my uh, SSH folder here and show you a list. So over here I have the ID RSA and then the ID RSA .pub. Now what I don't want to do is like show the content of the ID RSA because that's considered private. But what I will show you is the public key here. So what I'm going to do is cat ID RSA .pub. So what this is going to do is going to output the public key that was generated by the command that I just showed you. And what you want to do is you want to copy this uh, and then basically you want to come here into your GitHub account and add the SSH key. I've already done that. That's what I'm using over here. Uh, so I'm not going to do that again. But what you want to do is you want to paste that key um, into here just like that. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow GitHub to verify that, okay, you from your computer are actually the one who's pushing the code into your repositories. All right, so once you've set that up, uh, you will be able to push to GitHub. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new repository and I'm just going to keep it a public repository, no problems. And I'm going to call it um, Git Workflow. Git Workflow, just like that. And yep, this is all good. I'm going to create a repository here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this link here, um, this URL, and I'm going to add it to our remote. So I'm going to CD back into our um, repositories folder. And I'm going to do git remote add origin and paste our um, repository URL from GitHub over here. Now, when I type git remote hyphen V, it's gonna list out the origin that I just added. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna push, so first of all, I'm gonna check out my master branch, git push origin master. So what this is gonna do is gonna push the master branch up into our repository into GitHub. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to share uh, our work with other people. So right now it's just me kind of like pushing to my own repository. But if you do have, if you're collaborating on a project with other people, uh, you can share, you can set permissions to share your repository with other members who are using GitHub and you can have people contributing to your, to your code. Um, so there you go. It's pushed into the master branch. And if I hit reload right now, um, what you're going to see is, um, you know, the readme file from the master branch. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is push uh, git push origin develop. So what this is going to do is going to push our develop branch up into uh, GitHub. Great. So now we have two branches. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to do settings. And this is something that I do personally, which is I set the default branch or the develop branch. Because most for us uh, at Codemy, most of the work actually happens in the develop branch. So that's why we set the develop branch as the default. Um, so, but it really depends on you. This is just what we do. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is, so as you can see here, this is a develop branch. Uh, it's now the, the main, uh, you know, the default branch. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to push our feature branch up into uh, GitHub. And the way I do that is Git flow has its own command, Git flow publish, Git flow feature, Git flow feature publish, a new feature. So what this is gonna do is gonna push um, the feature branch up into GitHub. There you go. All right, so that uh, created a new uh, feature branch. So if I hit reload over here and I check this out here, you can see that we have a new feature branch over here. 
Uh, now, what I can also do is create a pull request. Now, we'll cover pull requests in a different episode because there's you know some details there as well. Uh, but for now, you can see that um, you know I've I've created a new feature branch on GitHub. And the next thing I'm going to do is let's let's for example add something to our feature branch. So added another thing to our feature, and I'm going to do a git commit am uh, updated the feature, and then what I'm going to do now is git push origin feature uh, a new feature. So I'm just you know instead of using the publish command, I'm using the git push origin uh, feature command instead. So you could do it this way as well, and this will work just fine. Now, if I go back over here, I can uh, you know switch to our feature branch. So if I click here, a new feature, you'll see that a new the new feature .md has shown up uh, has shown up in our uh, our repository here. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up it, wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family, um, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And uh, don't forget to like as well. I know I'm asking you guys to do a lot of things, but it really helps us out. And I will see you guys in the next one.